Quackity is one of the key parts of the Dream SMP and this is one reason why he has grown in popularity. Quackity has a YouTube channel with 4 million subscribers and a Twitch with 2.3 million followers. These are some big numbers, so let's delve deeper into why Quackity is so popular. This is The Rise of Quackity. The story of Quackity is pretty interesting. Quackity is a 21 year old and is from Mexico. Quackity started his YouTube career at 4th of June 2013, where he would upload some short but weird gameplay videos which weren't as entertaining as his content is today. But this was just the start of Quackity's journey and he would upload not consistently but start to learn and grow with the YouTube algorithm. Quackity would do this style of content for about 4 years and not gain the success he was hoping for. But with all this time on YouTube, Quackity found his unique style of content that he wanted to do which would be entertaining and bring something different to YouTube. If you enjoy this video then make sure to subscribe as it would help me out a lot. Quackity then transitioned into funny Roblox videos where these videos started to gain more traction and really started to grow his fan base. If you search Quackity HQ, boom, f hashtags, dude. Let me go on Avatar and see what we got here. Okay, well, look at that. Look at this st these starter items. Oh my, <laughs> what, what, are, what are these shirts? I love pizza shirt. Oh my god, we're so quirky. I'm a gamer girl and I love pizza. I love eating. I love performing basic human functions. Hold on, let me check the catalog. <laughs> what the f*** is this? What the hell? What the hell are these? Animation packages? <laughs> 750 Robux? Body parts? This has got to be some black market shit right here. What? What the? <laughs> what are these? <laughs> but Quackity isn't like your normal YouTuber that uploads daily or weekly. Quackity uploads in patches and when he thinks the video is good enough. After these Roblox videos done so well, Quackity started making meme music videos which would show a side of Quackity no one knew. He could show his artistic ability while still being funny. These videos would gain millions of views and show his audience that he was not one dimensional. Quackity would make a lot more parody songs and a lot more funny gaming videos that would gain millions of views where his fans aren't just watching for the gameplay itself, they are watching for the jokes and the gameplay is just a template for him to be funny. But this wasn't what helped Quackity become so popular. Quackity created this new series on YouTube called Discord Got Talent. And welcome to Discord's Got Talent. Today we got two special guests, KSI and Mr. Beast. How are you guys doing today? Well, good, good. I'm great. Ready to just roast the shit out of people. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to be really nice to everyone. Good. I'm tired of being nice. I really just want to be a fucking dick. You guys are switching roles then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and KSI just switch places. Yes. KSI gives away. This show attracted a big audience, which helped Quackity get big YouTubers on, such as KSI and Mr. Beast. And this is what really changed Quackity's career. This series was perfect for Quackity, as he could collab with big YouTubers which didn't make the videos look forced, and he could bring his humour and personality into the videos as well. With also interacting with his audience which would grow you even more as he can put big YouTubers in the title, and also new fans will subscribe as they think they could be in the talent show and be in the video, which gives a reason for the audience to subscribe. After this series, Quackity had made it as a YouTuber, and everyone was wondering how can Quackity's momentum carry on. So Quackity then joined the Dream SMP. This would make Quackity the popular YouTuber and streamer that he is today, as Quackity had a Twitch account for a few years but never streamed a lot. And never gained an audience. But with the Dream SMP starting to gain attention, Dream asked Quackity to join. To you, is that ah, that's loud. Hi. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hi. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Big so well. Big yes. Yes. Between us, Tubbo has gone f***ing mentally insane. No, no, no. What, what did you do, Tubbo? What the f*** did you do, man? I when Quackity joined the Dream SMP, he showed that he could play different characters and become one of the funniest people on the Dream SMP. Yeah, I don't have anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dream, you're useless. Dream, I'm you're not useless, useless because I have power and I can do it from anybody I want to. Yeah, but if no one gets out of the end test, what do you have? Mexican what, Dream! Yeah. Me gusta, me gusta. I have an axe and a shield. Give me the discs. <laughs> <laughs> and I have an 
Oh, yeah. apple. Me bueno. Apple, mean anything. If you have I bueno this. Because I was like, I was like, <laughs> what am I hearing? Si, <laughs> senor. Si. Shit. 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 This grew his Twitch stream to new levels as he showed the Minecraft audience that he could have different characters and still be funny. This would get his fans personally more attached to Quackity. So now in the present day, Quackity uploads and streams a mix of games such as Dream SMP and Jackbox. For a lot of people, this would make their career fall apart as they do different things and there's not a full reason for people to subscribe and watch. But because people started to get attached to Quackity's personality, this brought his streams and his videos to life, as he could add his friends and also mix in his personality, which is the main reason why he kept up the momentum of his growth. The most interesting part about Quackity's career is that he built his way up from editing big YouTubers videos, so this helped him learn how to edit and then use this style on his own videos, which for a lot of editors they wouldn't be able to grow on YouTube as their personality wouldn't suit YouTube. But Quackity's personality is perfect for YouTube and perfect for the Dream SMP. So I explained how Quackity became so popular and to summarise it, he interacted with a lot of different communities which he could show his personality and really gain attention to his YouTube channel and stream. I went on a dating show. That's right. I got put in a competition where 10 different women compete for my love. It gets really intense, so make sure to watch until the end. Also, thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. It's completely free and it helps me out a lot. Anyways, enjoy the video. Today, we have assembled a cast of 11 wonderful women. Every round, that timer is going to tick zero. At which point, we'll ask you to give me a bottom three. Then the chat will vote for who they want to keep out of that bottom three. Unfortunately, for the last person with the least amount of votes, It'll be the end of the road, and we'll never see them again until we get down to the very last round. And you will get to make the final decision. When you get to the end here, if you choose somebody who chooses love, you walk away with the woman of your dreams. But if you choose somebody who chooses host, it is the end of the road for you, Mr. Quackster. Welcome to Lover House. Everybody wave. So Quackity's story is so interesting. And leave in the comments what you think about Quackity, as personally I really enjoy Quackity's videos. This is the end of the video, so if you enjoyed please subscribe, it'd mean a lot to me if you would do that, and it helps me out a lot, and I hope to see you in another one.